G'day there, I'm Dingo Pete. Welcome to my kitchen. I've got something absolutely delightful for you here tonight. I'm going to cook some pumpkin. No, this is not just average ordinary pumpkin. This is butternut pumpkin, which is cooked in a way that you've never seen it cooked before. It's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. You will absolutely love it. You can have it as part of your main meal, or you can have it as a snack. You can have it hot, you can have it cold. Whichever way you eat it, it is beautiful. Please enjoy this and give it a go. Well, here we have a piece of humble butternut pumpkin. It's not the sort of thing that would make you sing. It's not the sort of thing that you'd consider as a meal all by itself. But wait till you see what I do with it. You might like to eat it all by itself. You might like to combine it with some other ingredients on a plate, or you might like just to have it as a snack, because what I'm going to do is absolutely delicious. Okay, the first step in this process is to peel the pumpkin and cut it into bite-sized chunks, just like that. Then we're going to drizzle some olive oil across it, not a lot, just a little, and then we're going to toss it around and make sure that all of those pieces of pumpkin have got a little bit of oil on them. Whoops. Okay, that's done. Shift that to one side. And now I've got a baking tray, which I've put some baking parchment on. And now I'm just going to tip all of that onto that tray. and spread the bits and pieces of pumpkin around. I've preheated the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. That's about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to pop this into the oven now for half an hour. Well, that pumpkin's been in the oven now for about half an hour. We just brought it out. It's cooking beautifully, looking very, very nice. What I'm going to do with it is pop it back into the bowl that I oiled it in earlier, like that. So now the pumpkin's back in the bowl. What I'm going to do is just sprinkle it with some sesame seeds, like that. And then I'm going to mix it around so that we've got a good coating of sesame seeds over all of that pumpkin. Okay, the pumpkin's back on the baking tray, sprinkled with uh, sesame seeds. I'm going to put that back into the oven, again at 200 degrees, for about 10 minutes, and just let that bake off. The pumpkin is already very, very tender. This is going to be delicious. Well, that pumpkin is beautifully cooked now. Look at that. Looks good. It's beautifully tender. It's looking flavoursome. But now I'm going to do a couple of other things to it. Firstly, I'm going to drizzle it with a little bit of honey. Just like that. Not a lot. Just a little. Lovely. Then, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of ground cinnamon over it. And then, a light sprinkling of chilli flakes. I'm going to put some crumbled feta on that. just going to make it more delicious. Can you imagine pumpkin served any other way now? That's just beautiful. Oh, goodness me. I can't wait to get my teeth onto that. Look at it. Isn't that beautiful? Well, folks, what did you think of that pumpkin? Isn't that different to anything you've ever done before? Well, I hope it is. 
and it's so, so simple, but the flavours are extraordinary. Do this, have it as a snack, have it as a part of your main meal, whatever you do, have it hot, have it cold, just fantastic. Enjoy, do it, so easy, simple as falling off a log.